comics. I heard that he's learning about lots of stuff, including movement along. He sure should have an answer. In this video, point 1 represents the leftmost point, and the second point 2 is the rightmost one. So in, in economics, there's something called movement along. So movement along is basically when a point moves on the curve. So it means that the line is going to stay the same, and only the point will move on the curve. So if there's point 1, and if it moves to this area, then it's still on the curve. So that's movement along. It did not go out outside somewhere else. So when point moves, there can be extension or contraction of demand in this case because this is quantity demanded graph. Um, so as you can tell from the words, extension is when something increases and contraction is when something decreases. So in this case, it, it started over here, point one, and ended up here, point two. So at point one, this much was demanded and at point two this much was demanded so demand increased so that's called extension of demand um contraction um of demand works the same way but backwards so if if you start from point two and end up at point one then the quantity demanded decreased because it started over here and ended up over here it works the same way for supply curve so if this is point one this is point two both of them stayed on the curve, so there's movement along. In this case, it's also extension of supply because at point 1, we wanted this much. At point 2, we're, we want to make this much. We are making this much. So the amount of um, things we were supplying increased, so that's extension of supply. However, if you go backwards and if you start from point 2 and go to point 1, then the quantity of supply decreased. So that's contraction of supply. Then what else is there? Because not all the points will stay on the curve. It may move. It may move outside. Line may go somewhere else. So there's something called shift. It's a similar idea, but a bit different. So it can move to the right, as you can see, or it can also move to the left. I'm gonna explain more. Uh, I'm gonna explain in detail more. Um, later on in few seconds when I explain about differences and when the li line shifts and when the point just stays on the curve and does movement along. So it works the same way for demand curve. You can shift to the left or you can shift to the right. Okay, then when will each of these things happen? Because there are four main things. Um, extension of demand, Contraction of demand. I'm just um, thinking in terms of demand curve, or it can the demand curve can shift to the right, or the demand curve can shift to the left. So basically, the main difference that makes uh, that differentiates movement along and shifting is what affects the change. So if the price if price is the factor that's affecting um, the change, then it will always be extension or contraction. So um, if I keep on going with the demand curve, if the price increases, then obviously consumers are not willing to pay more for the same product. So quantity demand will decrease, so that will lead to um, contraction of demand. However, however, if there are other factors, um, such as um, factors of production, the price of them changes, or let's say there are new machines, then it will always shift the curve. So um, let's say the for the pencil company, um, price of wood decreased. Then you can make more, so quantity supply increases and shifts to the right. Since it wasn't the price that's effect affecting the change, it shifts not stay on the curve. So it's not going to lead to extension of demand, I mean supply, but it's going to lead to shift to the right. 